Fighting Neo Geo Max 330 Mega no Dexteki Taiken Neo Geo System SNK Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and we're continuing the series Neo Nostalgia where I take a look at some of my favorite Neo Geo games of all time and today we're taking a look at Neo Turf Masters and when I say this is the greatest golf game ever made I accept no arguments, leave me a comment down below and tell me why I'm wrong and I'll tell you why you're wrong because this game is just absolute perfection from start to finish. Before you get to find involved though, do me a huge favor, hit like and subscribe and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, i got a Patreon link down below as well. But we need to use the Pallor Golfer because that is Kurt Russell. Again, just like this being the best golf game of all time, I will accept no arguments. That is Kurt Russell. That's how it's going to be. That's how it's always been. You'll see here we have four courses to choose from and we go right into hole one. Now I understand that the golf game genre is not everyone's cup of tea, but compared to what was on the market back when this came out, stuff like Golden Tea, this game is just absolutely amazing. Nazca is the developer and they made one other Neo Geo series you may have heard of once before and that is Metal Slug. These games could not be further from each other, but they have one thing in common and that is they're some of the best games on the Neo Geo. Now right off the top, it's a very simple setup. You have your power meter and you have your high, low, and nice meter. And you can put a hook or a slice on the shot using the buttons as well, but I generally don't feel the need to use that. But you'll see right here on the first hole, we are on the green and we are putting for birdie and let's see how it goes. And old Kurt Russell here just drain that putt. And you get a great congratulations screen. And hey, look, who showed up? It's Snake Plissken. If you haven't already realized, this is going to be a bit of a joke video, and you'll have to wait and see what other Kurt Russells show up. But what this game lacks in complexity, just with this one power meter, it makes up for it in some of the best hole designs in an arcade or console golf game ever. This game is challenging. Learning the courses, understanding how the mechanics work is absolutely spectacular. There's sound traps all over the place and it can be quite difficult to get a good result until you learn the mechanics of this. Because I will say the wind meter in this game is way more aggressive than any other golf game I've played. And you'll see that I overshot the pin and that is because I used too much power. Learning your clubs, learning how they work and how to understand them is crucially important or else you get something like a bogey here and then this happens. Happens. But honestly, golf games are so simple, they are pick up and play. But trying to get a high score on a course, playing this with your friends, it is one of the best experiences you're going to have on the Neo Geo. And that's why Neo Geo fans constantly talk about how good Neo Turf Masters is. And if you think about it, the Neo Geo is filled with some of the best examples of gaming around. And oh, I just lipped that cup right there and that drove me absolutely nuts. So the fact that most people would consider this one of the best Neo Geo games of all time really tells you something. It tells you it is spectacular and it tells you that Santa Claus is going to come for you this Christmas. But yeah, that's the thing about this game. If you've never played it before, you're probably not too interested in it because you're thinking, why would I play a golf game on the Neo Geo? But trust me, give Neo Turf Masters 10 minutes of your time and you're going to quickly realize that it is a spectacular game that you're going to be really bummed out that you missed. And you'll see we got the long drive contest here and I stuffed it right into that bunker which drove me absolutely nuts which in reality is something I would do in real life too. I haven't golfed for years but I was on the golf team in high school and I was division one state champion. I was fifth on a five-man team but I still played some decent at it but I'm probably better at Neo Turf Masters than I am actually at real golf and that's because nobody I know golfs and no one wants to let me teach them. So hey if you're in Chicago and you want to play some golf leave me a comment down below and I'll probably not meet you in real life because that might be weird. But I duffed it into another sand trap and that's the thing about Neo Turf Masters. When you're playing well and when it's clicking, everything is incredible. When you're screwing up completely like I am here and dumping that in the water and getting a one-stroke penalty, everything's absolutely miserable. But because it is a game from Nazca, amazing developer that made Metal Slug, they also have incredible music. So go ahead and listen for like 45 seconds and I'll come back and tell you more why Neo Turf Masters is the best Neo Geo game ever made in the golf genre and also why it features Kurt Russell. But enjoy. Damn sand.
That's just such a good soundtrack and it's so much better than you'd expect an arcade golf game to have and that's because the musicians and the music team at NASCA were excellent. All the music in Metal Slug is iconic so the fact that the same team or some members of it would have worked on this as well, that's why you have such a great soundtrack. And I do give the game credit too for not insisting on using a trackball. Now I played a ton of rounds of Golden Tee in Chicago bars throughout my life and while I love that game, I do not love how my palm and wrist feel the next day after playing it. I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere, but it really feels like I went 10 rounds with a prize fighter and I'm not a fighter. It's fun to use a trackball, but it makes your hand feel like crap afterwards, so an arcade stick and buttons is the way for me to play. And of course, when I'm going to play, I'm going to have to play with Mr. Kurt Russell. But if you want a copy of Neo Turf Masters, don't buy it for Neo Geo AES. You can get the Japanese version all day long, but if you want an original US copy of Neo Turf Masters, one, it's probably gonna be a bootleg and you're gonna get ripped off, or two, you're gonna spend enough money that you can drive a very nice new car off the lot. This game is exceedingly rare, almost legendary status, so, so I am playing it on the Mr. FPGA even though I own a U Japanese copy of the cartridge. But like I said, unless you're a big timer, don't go for the US version. And if you are a big timer, you're probably not watching this video because you probably already own the game and don't need me to tell you about it. But we are going to go for the long putt here. And you're going to see it says no grain. There is a little bit of status on how the ball is going to travel over the surface of that green and what the grain is going to be. And you need to pay attention to that as well as the wind because the wind is aggressive in this game. The holes are difficult. And I think that's just down to the fact that mechanically you just have to push a button twice. Pick your power. Pick where you're hitting the ball. That is quite easy, but when you have to deal with the wind, that gives the game a whole nother layer of complexity that you really need to worry about. And because there are four courses of 18 holes each in the game, that's giving you 72 independent holes to learn. And if you get a second person playing with you, this game just becomes incredibly fun going back and forth, playing shot after shot. It gets highly competitive, especially if you throw a few drinks in the mix as well, which is always what I would suggest when you're playing Neo Geo with friends. But I drained that putt again and I got a birdie and old Jack Burton is here to celebrate with us. But yeah. When I was thinking about doing a series on the Neo Geo AES and MVS, I knew I had to include Neo Turf Masters, even though I was worried that this video might not do well, because on a thumbnail it doesn't look that exciting. And of course, compared to a lot of the games on the Neo Geo, fighting games, shmups, platformers, things like that, this is a much more basic game and we just got a new drive record there. But this is one of the most fun games on the Neo Geo and you just have to take my word for that. When you're playing this game, when it's clicking, when you're playing well, you're having an amazing time. When you're having a terrible time and you're playing it poorly, you're laughing the entire time at just how bad you were doing. This is the type of game that you think you're going to play for 10 minutes and then suddenly two hours goes by. And that is why I included it on my list of favorite Neo Geo games of all time. And like I said, if you want to play it, grab a mister, emulate it, do anything you can. Just don't buy that US cart unless you have all the money in the world. And if you do, my Patreon link's down below, so I want you to stop by there. But yeah, leave me any questions or comments down below. Have you ever played Neo Turf Masters? What do you think? I'm sure that I'll have another Neo Geo video next week and I'll have videos three as well. But I drained that putt and Kurt Russell is here to celebrate. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.